This pair of barn owls are known as Gilthian Thin. After a long courtship, they now have four eggs in the elm stump nest. But with so many nests available, it took the pair a while to choose. Their story begins in January, with the pair spending time together in the elm stump. This nest is an old favourite of Gilfie's. She's nested here for the past four years. The pair had a brood here last year. And they obviously like this nest. Finn tidies up inside. And Gilfie even begins to nest scrape. A sign she might choose this spot to lay her eggs. But it seems they haven't made up their minds just yet. Over the years I've set up hundreds of nest boxes across the Yorkshire world. And around my home there's a few favourites. Gilfie nested in the sycamore stump with a previous mate back in 2019. But this year it's occupied by another barn owl pair, Willow and Ghost. Another option is the ash stump nest. The pair seem to like it here, visiting during the day and at night. And the nest scraping here too. But soon ash stump is occupied. Kestrel pair Mr and Mrs Kes move in and begin courting here. Perhaps beech stump will be their choice. The pair had a brood in this nest last autumn. But sadly all five chicks perished due to bad weather and lack of food. I get to work renovating the nest so it's better protected from the elements. And it's not long before Gilfie arrives to check it out. But she's not the first here. Tony Owl Bomber is already inside. But this doesn't stop her entering. And a vicious fight ensues. The female Tony Owl Luna hears the commotion and lands outside. It's a ferocious flurry of feathers and talons. And in the chaos, Bomber retreats. Gilfie isn't far behind. It looks like there's going to be some competition for the beech stump nest. But this doesn't stop Gilfie bringing Finn for a look. The pair seem to like it inside. And Gilfie even scrapes here too. She can't seem to make up her mind. The tawny owls have nested at Beach Stump for the last two years and they're quite protective of the nest. Female Tony Owl Luna seems keen to ensure the barn owls know who's in charge. She visits Elmstump to intimidate the pair. Gilfie hears her outside and squares up. But as Luna jumps to the entrance, she loses her footing and falls inside. The owls tumble with the talons interlocked. break apart and Luna dashes out, with Finn hot on her heels. When Finn returns they seem a bit unsettled, but no harm done. It's now March and despite two months of house hunting, 
Gilfie still can't decide on a nest. But soon, the decision is made for her. The tawny owl stake the claim over beech stump, and Luna lays her first egg here. And the Kestrels have decided on the ash stump nest. It seems like elm stump will be the barn owl's home this year. With the nest seemingly decided, courtship is ramping up between the pair. They affectionately preen each other. This is known as allopreening, and it's a great way for the couple to strengthen their bonds. The two owls are inseparable. Finn rarely leaves Gilfie's side. Both birds are scraping inside the nest. It's looking like they're keen to lay their eggs here. And they're mating regularly. The great sign a clutch is on its way. But despite courting an elm stump, both birds are still curious about the other nests. Finn drops by the beech stump. He seems amazed to find an egg and gently taps it with his beak. After a brief look around, he satisfied his curiosity. Gilf is also still unsure and heads over to check out the ash stump. But female kestrel Mrs. Kez is inside. The pair have a brutal tussle, lashing out with their talons. But Gilfie decides it's not worth the fight and makes her escape. Another close call. April brings unseasonal snows and the barn owls finally settle in elm stump. The pair are spending all of the days here now. Allopreening. Nest scraping. mating regularly. Towards the end of the month, Gilfie starts resting, sat down. A sign she's nearly ready to lay. Finn brings her food as she prepares, showing he can provide for her. At the start of May, Gilfie begins contractions. She's laying an egg. But when she stops contracting, she looks a bit confused. And as she stands, I can see the egg is stuck to her feathers. Soon she shakes it free and reveals the first egg. Unlike some birds of prey, barn owl eggs are incubated as soon as they're laid and she'll incubate almost constantly. For the next month, she won't leave her eggs unattended for more than a few minutes. Now the first egg has arrived, Finn is working hard to support his mate. She brings in regular food deliveries, so she doesn't need to leave the nest to feed. And when he's not out hunting, he's always by her side. Finn's now been a father twice, but he's still curious about it all. 
When Gilfie stands up to stretch, he drops in to take a closer look. He gently taps the egg before Gilfie quickly moves in to take over. Incubating is best left to the experts. Three days after the first egg was laid, Gilfie is breathing heavily again. Barn owls lay eggs at two to three day intervals, so this is right on time. She stands up as she lays a second egg. Finn is so affectionate. And inquisitive too. He takes any opportunity to take a closer look at the eggs. Over the next week, Gilfie lays eggs three This barn owl clutch is complete, and in just a month's time, the chicks will hatch. Finn and Gilfie are now in their second year together, and it's so exciting to see them with their third clutch of eggs. After losing their last brood in autumn, I'm hopeful they'll have better luck this year. In the next video, the chicks begin to hatch. And I can't wait to watch this pair step up to the challenge once again. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to see more. Here's a taste of what you'll enjoy seeing on this channel.